Tom Emmerich has a new gym buddy, counting his reps, telling him if he's slacking. His workout partner isn't standing beside him, it's on him. It's a biometric shirt. It has sensors woven into the textile. His heart rate, breathing rate, and calories are sent directly from his shirt to his tablet. And when he's pumping iron, a band on his arm calculates if he's lifting too much weight, or in this case... So it said you weren't working... Uh, it says I'm not working out hard enough. So Emmerich founded a group called We Are Wearables, early adopters of the technology that allows people to wear devices that measure and evaluate biometric data. More and more Canadians are snapping them up, everything from smart watches to smart bras. The market for wearable medical devices has already surpassed $2 billion a year worldwide and projected to almost triple by 2019. So while it may be a smart buy for investors, for users it's not so clear. This is a vest that you wear. Jason Parker teaches biotechnology. He says studies show most users abandon these types of gadgets within six months, the so-called top drawer syndrome. You buy the health technology, uh, you use it for a while, and then it ends up in your top drawer, never to be retrieved again. And experts say there's no proof they actually help you become any healthier. There's a huge lag between the pace of the innovation that is done in the wearables in the smartphone market and the research that is used to provide evidence that in fact it works. What could really work, he says, products like the one he's developing. This is actually a medical device, which uh, is able to acquire electrocardiogram and stream it directly from this device onto this BlackBerry. Technology that focuses on the people who need these types of products most, the sick. But there's actually very little out there in terms of good wearables for people who have a chronic illness like diabetes or a heart condition or what have you. Tom Emmerich says it won't be long before that changes, that there'll be wearables that could help make all of us healthier. But eventually what will happen is that our shirts will just be smart. So when I'm sitting on the couch, I'll have an application that says, if you don't go to the gym this week, you're going to you know, die early or you're going to gain 20 pounds or you, know, you better rethink that cupcake because you've already had four and it's not looking so good. Though it's not clear everyone would relish the thought of being nagged by their own shirt. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Toronto.